just arrived in Switzerland. I'm very tired. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. This is Chandler, my fiance. We have what, 80? 80... 87. 87 days until we get married. How crazy is that? We are in Switzerland for the next 10 days. We're bringing you with us. We are so excited and you guys look at us. We're backpackers. It's been on my bucket list to backpack around Europe. I've never traveled somewhere only in a backpack. Today is the day. We're doing it. Honestly, we feel pretty cool. Chandler, let's see your, let's see your backpack. <laughs> It is pretty cool having your stuff with you at all moments of the day. It's kind of a weird feeling like my underwear back here. I can change my clothes if I wanted to. We're so excited. We're in Zurich right now. We flew into Zurich yesterday. We didn't vlog yesterday because we were just trying to get acclimated and kind of get our bearings, but we walked around the city, had some really good food, and just kind of explored for the day, and then we were so tired. I'm pretty sure we went to bed at like, what, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock? I pooped out. I could not stay awake, but we're up bright and early this morning. We are about to hop on the train because we have a 45-minute train ride right to Lucerne. We're pretty much doing a different city every single day this week and so it's gonna be jam-packed. It's gonna be so fun and I can't wait to bring you along with us. I mean just look at how beautiful this is. Just look at me in Switzerland with my bags and my belongings. <laughs> Paul and I were trying to make up our own language so we're gonna start talking like little lot of little little. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know a lot about Switzerland except for they have really good cheese and chocolate and watches and the sound of music That's literally all I know about Switzerland. Oh and the sheep aren't there a lot of sheep here and yodeling So one and of my really nice cars one of my goals on this trip is to yodel on a mountaintop Do some of that cheese fondue and Chandler and I are gonna make up our own language <laughs> got a smoothie a Swiss smoothie it's mango passion fruit bananas something else I couldn't read it it was all in German it's very tart I think it's the passion fruit what did you get mm. Ooh, first Swiss pastry whoa that's so good we just got on our train to Lucerne I am so shocked by how quiet everything is you guys like the trains are silent when you're on the trains there's a couple people talking right now but you can't even hear the motors i think it must be all electric but even like walking in the downtown city center of zurich i was shocked by how quiet it was really cool So fresh. That's amazing. This is some muesli. Mm, it's strawberry. You think I like it? Yeah. Do you like it? First cappuccino. This is so good. Our first piece of Swiss chocolate. Mm. It's good, but I don't love milk chocolate. Oh, okay. It's good quality though. It's really good. We're at the chapel bridge right now. It's this beautiful covered bridge behind me. Landmark from the 1300s, covered in stone. Is the 1300s medieval time? I don't know, but we can say it is. <laughs> it looks very medieval to me. This is a 17th century art. That's wild! I love the moss growing on the roof, look. And all the flower beds.
saw a YouTuber do it. He said that all the fountains around town, you can fill your water bottle up them because the water's so clean and fresh. That's some tasty water. Chandler doesn't trust it. It's good. <laughs> I mean, water's gonna taste like water. It's spring water from the mountains. Yeah, we'll see you, how that works. You're see drinking how I, Swiss water. We'll see how I do this evening. Let's ensure can gagen lauden den can mal. We have just arrived at the Lion Monument. I'm not super sure what this is. We're about oh. to find out, and I've heard it's cool. Oh my gosh. Pit stop for lunch. Starting off with some bruschetta. It's really fresh. chocolates. We loaded up. I think we have like 14 truffles in this little box. Now it's time for the taste test. Here's the goods. Here we go. Whoa. Mine's really silky. Mine's really good. I don't know what's inside this, but it's amazing. This one is dark chocolate mousse. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this out. Oh yeah. That one's my favorite. So good. White chocolate. Truffle. It tastes like Bailey's inside of it. This one looks like a little cupcake. Whoa. This one has a hazelnut in the center. Ooh, whoa. It's good. Mm -hmm. You guys, we just went back to Chapel Bridge and Chandler proposed to me. We decided to make a TikTok where he proposes to me in every city that we go to. So stay tuned for that video if I haven't posted it already. That was the most epic reaction. <laughs> We're back at the train station. I am so excited for the train we're about to get on. It's a panoramic train. And supposedly this is the best train ride in all of the world. We're going from Lucerne to Interlaken on the Golden Pass train line. It supposedly is beautiful. I'm so pumped. outside. It's actually pretty late. We got on another train to go to Louder Britain, which is where we're stopping tonight. We can't really see anything because it's dark, but I'm pretty sure this is like the most beautiful valley and I can see a cliff that I've seen a million times on Pinterest, but we're both starving and so we're looking for any restaurant that is hopefully open before we go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. everyone we are on the top of Shilthorn mountain right now look at what's behind us like we're literally on the ridge of a mountain we woke up this morning and we had to take a bus to Mirren, i believe and then we had to get on a cable car to get all the way up here this is one of the highest points in europe we're right next to the jungfrau jaca we actually didn't go there because although it's super beautiful we've heard it's really touristy and this they said you get like the exact same views but it's cheaper and there's not as many people <laughs> I don't eat that. It's snow! It was really good. How do you feel right now? Nervous. Chandler's not the biggest fan of hiking. We're really not going very far. We thought about hiking down to the next cable car. We decided not to do that because it looked very steep. So we're just kind of walking along this trail right here. Guys, look how insane this is. And seriously, you need to do Shilthorn over Jungfrau Jacques because we are literally the only people on this mountain right now. It is so quiet. Like you can't even hear 
Well, I guess I can hear a bird, but that's all I can hear. All I can hear are birds right now. This is one of the most magical, surreal things I think I've ever seen. I don't really know where this is headed. It's kind of hard to look at the camera while walking because I kind of feel like we're gonna fall off the side of this mountain. But I'm surprised it's not colder. I thought it would be a lot colder and windier. <laughs> Mama told me never to eat yellow snow. Bite it right there. That's really good. Chandler's got the drone out. We're gonna try to get some sick shots. There she goes. Can't wait to see how it turns out. Oh my gosh, you guys look. I don't know if I can do that. I also don't know if we have time to go all the way down here because the last cable car goes down at 5.30 and it's like almost five o'clock. So we might have to turn around. We just got the famous Switzerland fondue. Dipping in some cheese. Oh my gosh. Cheers. It's amazing. It came with some little baby corns and baby pickles. And then we got this giant bratwurst. And we got some potatoes. I also got some non alcoholic cider. And it's really good. It tastes like apple juice. We're up bright and early for the sunrise. You can't really tell because the sun's behind that mountain back there. But we woke up early to see the town. Yesterday we went straight up the mountain and I forgot to show you this cute little town. So let me rewind a little bit and show you guys where we're staying. This is Lauterbrunnen. It is the most charming little town and you guys, here is the best part. I literally don't think I've ever seen anything this beautiful before. The Lauterbrunnen Valley is supposed to be one of the most beautiful valleys in Switzerland. I can definitely see why. There's a lot of paragliding here. When we went to Schiltern, we actually took this road down about 20 minutes and then we had to get on the gondolas to go up the mountains. And so there's like a huge mountain range back in there. And then there's these tiny little quaint villages. Can you see all the houses? There's just these like tiny cute houses. And then this main street right here. It's kind of the town where everything happens. Also, Chandler and I learned the hard way when we first got here that everything closes at like, what, 8 p.m. There's not a ton of options for food. The food here is good, but there's not a lot of options and they close really early. First step is to find some coffee. Chandler's making fun of me for getting detail shots of the flower. So will someone please comment and say that they appreciate the close-up shots and all the detail and hard work I'm putting into this vlog. They want to see Switzerland, not flowers. <laughs> Switzerland. One of the coolest things about Switzerland are all of these flower beds everywhere. Look, this is Switzerland. This is iconic Switzerland. And look at that house over there. Do you see those flower beds right there? Oh yeah, and there's cows everywhere. There's cows somewhere over there. Look at the wild Nicolan and her natural habitat as she works so hard to get her content. Behind the scenes footage, <laughs> never before seen. Tell them what you're doing. What are you looking at? We woke up so early this morning to get content for you guys. Look, there's nobody on the street. It is so quiet. Nobody on the street, she says. You see those two people? <laughs> Switzerland in general is a quiet place, but this town in particular, I bet the population is like 25. There's nobody here. Only in Switzerland will you see a Mercedes-Benz garbage truck. There's a lot of rust in there. That's okay. Gives you more iron. First sip of the day. Be <laughs> We 
decided to be spontaneous today and go to a different city. We were just gonna hang out in Lauterbrunnen today, but it's actually a pretty small town and I feel like we kind of covered our ground. So we hopped on the train and now we're at Wengen or Wengen. Vegan. Jim has been calling it vegan this whole time. It was actually pretty easy. We just got on the train and went straight up the mountain. So we're still, I don't know if you can see behind me, but we're still in Lauterbrunnen Valley. We're just on the top of it in this charming little town. It's so cute here. We don't know where anything is though, so we're just gonna walk around and explore and hopefully find some breakfast. It is so quiet here. The people here are just so soft-spoken. I feel like I need to whisper everything I say. <laughs> Chandler almost just ate it off the sidewalk. So nothing was open for breakfast. We walked all around the town. Everything was closed, so we went to the grocery store. We got a bunch of fruit, some Swiss yogurt, and we're sitting in these little carriage things. Here, show them that one right there. We just found this cute little park, and there's this little life-size chessboard, and so we're just sitting here, eating our breakfast, looking at the mountains this morning. Looks like a guy with his mouth open and a nose. Exactly the same. Yep. So everything in Vengen was closed. It was literally like a ghost town. I couldn't figure out where everybody went. So we took the train back to Lauterbrunnen and then got on another train and came to Interlaken, which is where we are now. It's a cute little city. I would say Interlaken is like a good base if you want to do day trips. We're right in the middle of the Jungfrau mountain region and everything is really close to the train station and so it's super easy to hop on the trains and do little day trips to all the different mountains, which is what we're going to do for the next few days. So right now we're about to take a cog train up the side of the mountain. Supposedly there's a panoramic restaurant up at the top. We're going to have dinner up there and watch the sunset. on top of the world right now you guys I cannot believe this and like look how blue that lake water is Chandler what are your thoughts I'm just busy capturing moments <laughs> he's been taking photos for like the last 20 minutes but you guys have you ever seen any like this I think I did a good job he's become such a great photographer on this trip I'm so blessed I think I'm just gonna stay here forever maybe they'll let me sleep out here on this platform because I'm obsessed if you come to Interlaken highly recommend the harder comb cog train harder comb cog train up the mountain we can see the tallest point of Europe from here you guys it's right there wild down for dinner and our waiter came and brought our drinks and surprised us with a new table right on the edge of the mountains. He moved us to the table with the best view. My view in front of me is better though. Always will be. Cheers. The coldest beer in Interlaken they see. How's your dinner? Do fish, Mike. <laughs> What'd you get? Sirloin steak. Papas fritas. Oh my gosh. Mixed vegetables. <laughs> Mine's good. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's traditional Swiss. It's like hash browns with ham, a fried egg, and then just cheese. It's amazing. That's the best thing we've had yet. Oh. 
sun is setting. We're headed back down the hill to get back on the cog train. I'm really hoping that the brake system works well. <laughs> I don't want to leave this mountain. This is truly probably one of the most magical things I've ever seen in my entire life and I cannot even believe that things like this exist. Today was so much fun. We have an adventure packed day tomorrow so we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it's a beautiful day. We just got off the train in Grindelwald. It's about a 45 minute train ride from Interlaken and we are going paragliding right now. First thing in the morning to wake us both up. I've never been and I'm a little nervous. I was way more scared than I thought I'd be when we went parasailing in May and this is like 10,000 times different and probably scarier so pray for me. Oh my gosh, are you joking me? We're about to run off this edge right now. <laughs> How are you feeling? It's starting to get nervous. It hasn't hit me yet. I know I will be nervous, but I just can't wrap my mind around the fact that I'm about to jump off that hill right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. the coolest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Like top three coolest things I've ever done. I thought I would be so scared and I wasn't. Even like the running off launch, you just float. Like you're literally floating through the sky and this is what we were flying into. This beautiful valley. Now we're on this beautiful little pathway making our way back to town. And guess what we're doing next? Scooter cars down the whole mountain. Yeah, we're gonna go ride some mountain scooters. <laughs> That's day ever! We got our helmets on. About to go take some, <laughs> some mountain scooters down the mountain stop. They're like these little tricycle bikes. They look so fun. <laughs> oh, my life is made. Those little bells. Okay, I took a little break after mountain scooting because was wild. We're back in Interlaken now. We just had the best pasta of our lives at this little Italian restaurant. I got lasagna, Chan got some like spaghetti something. And then we like hightailed it over to this ice cream shop that we've heard is really good. And we're ending our night with gelato. I've never been stickier and I feel stinkier in my whole life. So. Yeah, show your shirt. <laughs> and I spilled ice cream on me. So <laughs> it's time for bed. What's up everybody? We're here in Zermatt. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. We woke up super early this morning, hopped on the train at Interlaken, and we had about a two and a half hour train ride to Zermatt, which if you're not familiar, is home of the Matterhorn. There she is. 
in all her glory right behind me. My only frame of reference for the Matterhorn is Disneyland, which I know is so pathetic. And so it's so wild to be standing in front of it right now. You know, this is actually so sad. So much of my frame of reference for things around the world are from the Disney parks. Because like Epcot has all the different countries you know where and, mine are from? and the rides and stuff, like it's just wild to be in these places in real life. You know where mine are from? Where? Maps, history books. Well, obviously, but you know what I mean? Like I, I grew up going to Disney so much and it's just crazy to see this in real life. We're headed up the mountain right now. We're going on the Grogan Grot. Is that how you say it? Grogan? Just say it with confidence <laughs> and people we're, will believe you. We're heading up the Grogan Grot train to go catch some views. It's gonna be great. Chaney just got us some treats to try. Something cornet. yummy. It's a cornet. Oh, I love the cream inside. It's like a Bavarian cream pastry. That's just good. So good. Made it to the top to scrub some lunch. I think we have enough rice to feed a village. A little salad, a little cappuccino, and the view's not bad. to the very top where there's a 360 view of this entire mountain range. This is unbelievable. And the weather is perfect. We lucked out with weather on this trip. Like seriously, I was expecting to be so cold up in the mountains and it feels amazing. About to get some cool drone shots for you. thoughts on the Matterhorn? It's a horn that matters. <laughs> I think it's so crazy that there's just these random lakes up here so high up in the mountains when there's like snow and ice everywhere and then there's just these big pools of blue water. Like, look at that. Ow! You <laughs> hit the snowball. We didn't know this when we made reservations, but it's a Michelin restaurant and the food is so incredible. I got some rigatoni that has veal in it. Chandler has some type of meat. Black Angus. Oh, yeah. Black Angus. Meat. Black Angus. Celebrating with a little glass of wine. And the best part is the view. This is our view, you guys. What is life? Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day here in Zermatt. The current temperature is about... In Alabama, we call it Zermatt. The current temperature is about... 61 degrees. Out here, it's a nice crisp morning. We woke up and watched the sunrise over our dear old Matterhorn. Now we're walking along the river up to supposedly a train station that's gonna take us up to the top so we can see some more cool views. Got myself an iced coffee. It's kind of funny, they don't really do ice in Europe and so when you ask for an iced coffee, it comes in a hot coffee cup, but listen, we're not complaining. very embarrassing on my behalf. That's enough. <laughs> And it's so cold. I highly recommend bringing warm clothes when you come here. How wild. I feel like I'm in Elsa's castle right now. Let it go, let it go. This is 
probably one of my favorite things we've done so far. Even though my lips are blue. <laughs> I'm definitely not dressed right for this. All right, we just took another gondola up to a different station and now we are doing the first part of the Five Lakes hike. I guess there's five lakes up here where you can see the Matterhorn. We're just gonna walk to the first one, but I think I see a little bit of it over there. to the lake. Check this out. It's so peaceful. Good job Chandler, you made it. <laughs> there. We have arrived at dinner. We are eating at Hotel Christiania. I just got some kind of chicken orange, something with polenta and veggies. And you guys, I've never seen bigger plates in my whole life. Chandler got something else that looks great. I don't even know what that is. Steak. Steak. Good morning, everyone. It's the last day of our trip in Switzerland, which is really sad. These 10 days went by so fast. We are on the train right now, headed to Montreux, which is on Lake Geneva. We're actually flying out of Geneva, so we're ending here, and then we're gonna take the train to the airport tomorrow. But Geneva is on the far west side of Switzerland, so we're super close to France right now. And it's so pretty. We're passing all these vineyards, so I feel like this is Switzerland's wine country. Not a français, oui, oui. We just had the best lunch ever. We ordered this pesto pizza with burrata cheese on the top, and oh my gosh, it was so yummy. And next door there was a lot of ray, so we picked up some macarons, except I didn't realize Chandler doesn't like them, so I'm convinced that we might change that today. We're on a mission now to go find the Freddie Mercury statue. Walking along this beautiful lake, I'm pretty sure, this is Lake Geneva, right? Yes. She's so cute, bluest water I've ever seen. Okay, I got a chocolate one for you and a chocolate one for me. What do you think? You don't like it still? I don't see the hype behind it. But do you like the flavor? Like, do you like the way it tastes? Kind of. I'm good. Oh, you don't like it? Okay. Okay, well, you know, we tried. Found him. Hi, Freddy! I actually don't know what this castle is called, but we just found a castle. Schloss Chillon? Something like that. Everything is very French here, but there's this beautiful castle along the water, like not very far from our hotel. We're gonna go check it out. I can't imagine living in a place like this. big plans for dinner. We got McDonald's. However, we found one of their local frozen yogurt shops just across the street. And so we're ending our day with a little bit of ice cream. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely frozen yogurt. That was the best trip ever. I'm so sad that it's come to an end. However, I'm ready to get back home and sleep in my own bed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it made you smile and inspired you to book your next trip to Switzerland. I'll try to get my blog post up with all my recommendations and places that we went soon, so stay tuned for that. But thank you so much if you watched all the way to the end. You're a saint and we love you so much. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye.